Hello, 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 welcome to Firearms of America and today, a few days before the hurricane, I have some keen Pittsburgh boots for you guys to review. Now, these are work boots, but I decided to pick them to review for our Ultimate Survival boot section because they feature a whole bunch of different protections and if you are in a rush and you don't have time to watch the whole review because you're too busy doing i don't know whatever you're doing let me tell you these boots are very comfortable but at the same time very heavy so keep that in mind they do feature a lot of protection but if you have weak legs it'd probably be too heavy for you okay let's get into the review so like i said this is specifically for our ultimate survival boots section and that means that we're gonna judge these boots by a few different criteria that you wouldn't normally judge your typical work boots for the first one would be the comfort level the comfort level let me tell you i was very pleasantly surprised now if you watched any of my boot reviews you already know that the test that i do is a five mile walk three mile run which i do three mile run first and then the five mile walk and the total wear time without taking off the boots usually is about eight hours so let me tell you it was really tough to run in these boots why because they are extremely heavy probably the heaviest boots that i reviewed on this channel so far but i was pleasantly surprised overall with the softness of the bottom sole now it looks very bulky very tough it looks like a tank but surprisingly it is pretty flexible so it was actually possible to run properly in these boots without putting too much stress on ankles and the knees at the same time the inner sole is very nice and soft it's not the ortholite inner sole but what they call, which is one of their own technologies, metatomical foot bath. And whatever that metatomical thing is, it does a pretty good job at taking that impact. So overall, it was comfortable to wear them. The only downside to the comfort aspect of these boots is, of course, the weight. Because, you know, the heavier the boots, the faster you get tired wearing them. Um, so keep that in mind if you have to do a lot of walking around which you know in the survival boots you will have to be prepared <laughs> be strong make sure your legs are strong enough to <laughs> to to handle this boots because they they are heavy at the same time which is our second criteria in our ultimate survival boot section number two proofing and protection that's where these boots really do shine they do feature a steel toe which is very strong you know dropping the hammer no problems at all they do feature you know the uh a very nice strong protection protected you know very very very, very strong protected from the impact bottom sole as you can see the rubber here is very tough and also they do feature some heel protection as well this this part right here is very strong the only sort of little bit of a disappointment whenever it comes to protection that i personally had i personally found uh, is the ankle because there is really no protection to the ankle at all this this area right here where your ankle hanging out is just just nothing it's it's very soft there's just a material so i don't know i i think i think it would have been nice if they had the same strong uh rubber that they featured here in the back on the on the heel going through here in order to give you that extra protection um so overall you know i would say Whenever it comes to protection, uh, a solid eight and a half out of 10, because they do feature uh, a few protections here and there. The, 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 you know, the toe is, is a steel toe. They are waterproof, by the way, which is obviously a nice plus. Um, but at the same time, there are a few things that are missing here and there. Now, number three is the quality and the design. Now, the quality of these boots feels fantastic. It feels very good and of course judging by the reviews on Amazon 
more than 1200 reviews currently and the most of them five stars you know people people do love this boot number four criteria that we talk about in our ultimate survival boots is the outsole traction and stability now <laughs> this outsole is absolutely massive it does feature some oil and slip resistance which is really good you know for you know work boots it's it's really nice now i did test these boots on a few different surfaces uh it was a rocky road it was a wet grass an asphalt and the sand and these boots do perform pretty well on all of those surfaces they do have a little bit of aggression going on here and there so they are definitely good on surfaces like wet grass uh, which you're probably not gonna use if you're buying <laughs> if you're buying these boots specifically for work not applicable to you but because it's an ultimate survival boot situation obviously we have to consider all of these different services going through trails and going through you know rocks and whatever really can be on the way different terrains overall whenever it comes to traction and stability i would give this boot actually a solid 8 out of 10 and uh i'm actually much more happy with these boots knowing that they're work boots and that they are versatile like that because my work boots that i used to have they were just a completely flat practically flat no aggression at all and actually one time i had to wear them on snow and it was absolutely terrible i was sliding back and forth so that slip resistance that they had was absolutely useless okay that brings us speaking of snow that brings us to the criteria number five and it's the temperature now unfortunately i cannot test these boots in a cold weather because i live in florida so i was actually wearing them in the florida heat was about 100 degrees uh running in these boots was pretty tough i did not actually overheat the ventilation is very good uh, and because they do feature this dry feet technology whatever they you know whatever it however they did it it sort of absorbs the sweat from your feet and it doesn't feel wet inside there yes sounds disgusting but <laughs> in practice it actually worked pretty good so i am definitely happy with these boots in hot temperatures if you have these boots in cold temperatures definitely let me know but i do feel like they would do pretty good in cold temperatures as well because they do feature a little bit of insulation here and there and if you buy some good warm socks you will be pretty happy with this as well now number six is the sizing sizing wise they are absolutely perfect definitely true to the size so no worries there at all number seven criteria i think the most important one is the balance of applications specifically applicable to you know ultimate survival situations now the hurricane dorian is a few days away so if this were my last boots and i had to put them on and then leave my house because it got destroyed in a hurricane and walk for miles and miles until i reach safety and possibly run because some angry people try to chase me or maybe even fight in these boots or climb or i don't know do whatever whatever you can come up with in your survival scenario <laughs> would these boots be pretty good i think these boots are definitely a pretty good you know very interesting choice for your survival scenario because they do feature a lot of protection they do feature a very versatile um outsole um they are waterproof they do have that slip resistance you know if you run through the mall for example on the slippery tile you're not gonna slip and fall very nice you never know you, you never know what might happen <laughs> so i think they're pretty good comfort wise they are good i think you can walk in these boots for a very long time uh, and not feel a lot of impact because of that special technology that they feature on the inner sole uh, but they are pretty heavy so i think you know if you if you get into a fight your mobility definitely kind of drops there because they are heavy it's very hard to move around be light fit with these boots and also if you need to run you will get tired pretty quickly not because they are uncomfortable but because they are heavy and that definitely brings the score of the overall balance of application down uh, 
quite a little bit. Personally, I prefer less protection and more mobility, but at the same time, you know, it, it really depends on your personal preference. These boots feature more protection, less mobility. So, you know, it's up to you to decide. Number eight criteria, very last criteria here in Ultimate Survival Boots uh, section, categories, whatever, is the price. And the price is a little bit on a hefty side. They are about $180 currently on Amazon. I do think that the price is fair because I purchased my work boots for about $200 and they were extremely uncomfortable. They were, they were advertised as waterproof and they were not waterproof. They were advertised as slip resistant and there wasn't really much of slip resistance at all. It was just a flat bottom sole. Uh, so compared to those boots, these boots at $180, I wish I found them first. They are much, much, much better. So what do you guys think about these boots as your survival boots? What do you guys think about those boots as your work boots? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to read your, you know, your opinions and your experience with these boots. If you have any particular requests for any other reviews, definitely let me know. If you found this video useful, please subscribe. This is still a growing channel and every subscriber definitely makes a difference. Thank you very much for watching. This was Firearms of America and I am off to prepare for Hurricane Dorian. Still have some preparations to do. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.